Everyone, Amo here from More Hard West. We just picked up Randy Harden, and we are Warren right now. And we're role playing Warren's bit of a just an absolute monster. <laughs> we're, I, I, ooh, he's a he's a rough character. Let's go to the church. I suppose. Let's kind of forget exactly what we're doing. It's been a few days since I played local chapel. Used a piece of the meteors. I mean, oh, we're getting the meteor pieces. That's right, okay. To get the collector. A uh, piece of the meteors. The main jewel adorning his chalice. Vicar Sam's, who the locals respectfully called Bishop, refused to surrender the stone. Your only option is to shoot him in the face. Oh, I mean, we're pretty, like, we're pretty nasty people, so yeah, we'll shoot him in the face. The victor never stood a chance. He claimed a piece of the meteor, but as he touched it, you began coughing badly. Oh, oh, he got sick. A piece of meteor in your hand heated up, melted it, and sank into your skin. You felt empowered, but if you wanted to collect these pieces to drive persons out of hiding, you had to avoid burning them up. So we like, okay, so we got the meteor piece, got cursed doing it by murdering the vicar, and then the meteor piece seeped into our soul, and we got bonus sight. So we have super sight, but we also are like sick and have a cracked skull. We're also just messed up. 50 aim, my gosh, that's bad. But really, you find like a like a, a place to heal if there's anyone shaman please get the shaman to help us uh, Shaveo told you of a wandering healer with unique skills oh thank you he said it was your choice the wound is not critical and healing it would not be free oh Shaveo needs to heal too Shaveo I just uh... what does the healing involve exactly Shaveo described ritual shaman made a preparation from a rare cactus induced a trance state during the ceremony then banished evil spirits Shaveo said you probably had some demons of your own proposed you join the ritual yes that's fine that is fine. Heal me. Heal Shaveo's demons. Everyone gets healed. Solomon hands you several dark green cactus buttons, told you to eat them. They were bitter, but you managed to choke them down. You then began chanting and humming, put you in a trance. When you opened your eyes, you saw evil eyes staring at you from every stone and every star. The moon was one gigantic evil eye, dominate, dominating the night sky. Shaven danced frantically, pounding the dirt with his cane and cursing the evil spirits. Gradually, the eyes gave way to vibrant colors and shapes. A feeling of peace washed over you. You woke up next. Yeah, injuries have been healed. Okay, that's all I wanted. Uh, woke up next day, sun high in the sky, the was gone, but your sense of inner peace was intact. Oh, good. Alright, we got rid of our our debuffs, and we got actually a couple of uh, little small buffs for maybe the next fight. Oh, and look, look how not injured everyone is, except for Randy, he saw syphilis because he wasn't part of the ritual. Poor Randy. Um, keep look for the meteor. What about the illegal mines? What's in there? Are there, are there mine pieces in here? Meteor pieces? Came across the prospecting site where a group of slaves told narrow coffin sized holes in the ground. Hauling silver from beneath the earth, it was doubtful these mines were sanctioned by the authorities. Rumor had it Mr. Breck, one of the proprietors, had a collection of precious stones, such as a piece of meteor. Um, we threatened the prospectors of violence. Yeah, we're bad people. Your threats fell on deaf ears. You had to kill them. They put up a fight and wounded one of your companions, but in the end, he retrieved the stone. Alright, who got wounded? Randy? Randy messed up his foot? Well, screw it, Randy. Uh, eh, we could have kind of bought now. I'm pretty sure I'm money. Collect another piece of meteor. Burning it up would give you extra power, but keeping them would help you recruit. Let's just, let's just, let's just get the dude, okay? Let's just get our, our third friend. I mean, consuming it for raw power is kind of, kind of fun and cool, but I think, you know, numbers, a numbers game. Playing as a numbers game isn't too bad either. Quack wagon? Is there going to be some dude selling snake oil there? Lonely dilapidated wagons parked beside a popular resting ground. Dr. Mason Von Warner. Uh, wagons smell very strongly of liquor. They must have been it must have been antiseptic. Clearly, you know, not just ethanol. Not the kind you drink, of course. The doctor looked at you absentmindedly through his greasy glasses. You may have been drunk and high on opium, but he's the only medic in the area. Oh, we already got healed. Get out of here. Get. Uh, he could help with Hardin's embarrassing problem. I'll give her his syphilis. He had a single dose of mercury stash from emergency to temporarily relieve Hardin's ailment, but the effect of advantage for a while. 50 bucks for a temporary... God, no, he's... forget it. Save that option for later. Temporarily to Hardin. Gosh, Hardin. That's what you get for living in a whorehouse. The Vaquero? Fate Trader? Where were the pieces? The one, was the one in the tannery? Probably not. It's probably just a shop. I like one side of my nose is stuffy. I'm like trying to ignore it, but it's making my voice all messed up and getting like a little bit of sniffles. Told me to look for a shrug. He had used the piece in the tanning vat to speed up the reaction. Ugh. 
They found a reliable source of tannin catalyst and didn't need the meteor anymore. Unfortunately for you, it lay at the bottom of a vat full of toxic materials. If you were desperate enough, you could simply reach for it. Dude, we'll make Harden our, like... <laughs> do we want to make Harden our dude to do stupid stuff? You were cursed. Gave it a shot. We can go heal. Harden do the stupid stuff. Companion searched the meat inside the vat. It took a while when the stone was the final retreat. Your companion's hand was badly burned. That's fine. I know what medic is. I know what a doctor is. Keep it. Alright, Harden. Go to the quack. See if we can heal the quack. Or what, Harden? See if we can heal Harden. Came for healing. Doctor assumed... Assured you he was an expert on anatomy. He performed the most, he performed the most amputations during the battle of sea and pass and counted fatalities. Okay. His expertise wasn't cheap, but his company could help you, especially when involved in amputations. Harden need to help. Don't cut his hand off. Gosh. The patient was feeling much better now. Truly commendable feat. Harden, are you like... Is your hand okay? You're still suffering the syphilis. Okay, a little less movement and HP I can handle. But your hand's okay now. Could like try to sell our stimulant, whatever. I don't think we need to do that. Back to the Vaquero. I'm not saying Matthew's tomb. That is definitely a place where you go. Other than that, is that say Necropolis? I don't remember that either. I guess it's been a few days. Found some tombs. Burial place. Peter belonged to one of the four evan evangel evangelists. A gang of four brothers named Mark, Matt, Luke, and John. Sacred vagrant sound tomb for himself as Necator, the seer. Told you that each of the brothers' tombs contained an inscription that told part of their story. Somebody read the story in the correct order, it would reveal the location of the gang's stash. Ugh! <laughs> this is a side quest. Read the inscription. Uh, Mark was the eldest, and the elders had always followed his orders. But John harbored a secret bitterness when they finally tracked down the masked doctors responsible. He disobeyed the eldest command to provide cover. That was brother's protection. Matthew was riddled by bolts. They buried him here. That's like a lot of walking around trying to solve this puzzle. Let's do it! Let's do it. Read all the inscriptions. Read the inscription. Brothers fell into disarray. Mark blamed John. John blamed Mark. Luke had always brokered their peace, was powerless to reconcile them. Tempers escalated until John drew on Mark and another brother fell. This time the hand of his own kin. It was the end of the evangel evangelists. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I keep trying to say evangelists. Alright, so. One guy died. Oh my god, I'm already getting names all mixed up. The one dude died, and Mark blamed John for him dying. John blamed Mark, and Luke was powerless to reconcile them. John killed Mark. So, but then why is John's tomb? Okay, well I guess John drew on Mark, and then Mark killed John. Okay, so Mark killed John here. What was this tomb? I guess I don't actually need to move. I don't need to actually walk down here. So Matthew. So John was supposed to cover Matthew? Someone was supposed to cover Matthew. They got in a fight and John died. So we have Matthew and then John. Uh, Horse was not carrying the worldly remains of the departed to distant soil. Instead, it contained living human parts kept alive by jars of electricity and eldritch bombs. Mark was Lou. Whoever did this must pay. John and Matt disagreed. For the first time, the brothers were divided. So this must be the first one. And somehow, Mark died here? I guess I guess that's the first one. Mark is first. This is that was the first time they were divided. Uh, Luke's tomb, Caduceus. John drifted alone, rootless, without purpose. Finally, tired of being outgunned, outnumbered, decided he could not continue. He was not preparing to take his own miserable life when Luke returned, bent in reconciliation. He found some leaves on the mass doctors, and the time to strike was now. Ah, the mass doctors definitely happened after this, but this sound like the last one because the dude's alone. So let's see, so maybe Luke, Matthew, John, Mark? But it said, didn't Luke, say, like, John's tomb say it was the last of the end of the brothers? It was the end. Alright, so John has to be last. So Matthew, John, the last two. So that means this has to be the first one. So this has to be Luke, Mark? There he is again. Uh, instead of containing living body parts, Mark was resolute. John Matt screed for the first time, the are divided. Uh, so this is Mark, John, and Matt. Mark, John, and Matt. Appear in Luke's tomb. 
Marks, John, and Matt. This is John alone. Luke returned. Benton reconciliation. Mark, John, and Matt. Man, I have no idea. What's the whole story? Beginning of the story was. Ah, crumb. Can I bail out? I'm not actually ready to read the whole story. Um. So that is. This is Luke's that we're on. And then we said John's was last. Was that Matt's? Oh, and they have two of them start with an M. Bail. Bail out. No, I did not. Ah. Uh, that was a misclick. Oh, crumb, that was a misclick. And Mark. Oh, yeah, we already messed it up. Yeah, we messed it up super bad. Yeah, we. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Matt is down there, Mark's up here. So, John is last. John's is last. I'm gonna say that. Maybe. Says the end, but then reconciliation. Oh my gosh, this is a. I feel like I need a whole a whole book for this. All right, let's do. It. So Matthew, John is definitely after Matthew because they're about the covering thing, and then those have to be, because talking about the mass doctors, those two have to be after Mark and Luke. So it's which is first, Mark or Luke? Uh, let's just try them both. Let's try, let's try Luke, Mark, Luke, Mark, Matt, John, which might have been, was that already, actually already tried? Luke, Mark, Matt, John. Luke, Mark, Matt, John. Alright, so it's not Luke, Mark, Matt, John. Let's try Mark, Luke, Matt, John. Oh my goodness. Mm, Matt. John, Luke. Luke. Matt. John. Mark. Mark's. Matt's. John's. Luke's. Letters form words, the words form sentences. Spell out location of the secret stash. Okay. If we did it. We just had to get that one piece of the story put together. Let's go get their stash. We got we got a bunch of cards where actually we should stop. Check out those cards because there's some sort of fight there. Uh exchange health is really good. We found that one, that was super good. Give it to somebody with low health, okay. Well, I guess nobody really has that low health. What do you have that you don't need? This is a nine of diamonds. Does anybody else do that in their hand? Not really. Here you go, pardon. You're working having a hand. Ace of spades. And every shot, every hit you score cripples. That is, that's pretty good too. It's an ace. You don't need an ace. James Dodge, you will. I like that. I like the bonuses from Joker. Generate. Do you really need the Joker though? If I take out the Joker, what are you getting right now? Three of a kind for extra max luck? For three jacks? Versus giving you every hit you score. You probably, you know what? Nah, you're fine because you have the musket. You've been killing dudes. Let's just give all these to. Let's just give Harden some stuff to do. And prayer? Which one gives them the better? He has a 9, 10, and an ace. It's either way, just a uh, pair. So there you go. You get a pair as well. All right, back to the secret treasure. The stash. Unmarked grave. Bland unmarked grave. Match direction scripted. Long digging efforts toward findings. Findings of substantial material. Eh? One armed bandit unlocked at Fate Traders. We got unlocked one armed bandit. Okay, what do, what do, we, what do we actually get? The weapon. One armed bandit. Who needs accuracy with a round this big? The ultimate last ditch weapon. Eight damage. For one shot. It's like it's a handheld musket. 8 to, yeah, just a short range of it, yeah, just shorter range. Anybody want a, uh, another musket? You already have a musket. You already have muskets, which are pretty much the same thing. Bulletproof vest, plus 5 defense and plus 2 HP, wow. Plus 5 defense, plus 2 HP. 
Okay, well, uh, Warren has enough defense and lots of HP already. Uh, I guess maybe our um, poor poor Randy here. Yeah, yeah, he has less defense, less movement, less HP. He needs protection the most. A stun bomb. Resopium liquor. Stims and dried meat. Healing and healing. You don't need two healings. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Piltate's enemy movement and aim. Should I have a flashbang on our and Warren? Sure, because he, he probably doesn't need to have two healings. He'll do five flashbangs, fine. Alright, back to work. Collecting the meteor pieces. All the way over here was the necropolis. This is the necropolis. Right an area dominated by sinkholes and mud pits. Served as a graveyard of sorts, lying coffins simply sink into the bog. Reflections were, your reflections were interrupted by the sight of a tall figure pacing back forth across the necropolis. In the morning midst or the surreal landscape, he looked as if an apparition. Just all in black, carrying a shovel, he looked as if he must be an under, the, under, the Undertaker. The rumors are about... If rumors about like that hunting for you... If the rumors about like that hunting for you were true... This man could be dangerous. Okay. That is a very confusing sentence. I get it, but it's just, it's just, that's so awkward. Very awkward. Let's try to figure out who it is. Is it, is it Papa? The man's polite greeting turned to, to excitement as he realized who you were. His name was Shane Carter Holmes. He recognized you from your hunt for the mass man. Between coffins and funeral services, your one-man slaughterhouse routine, as he called it, made him a pretty penny. He'll be looking for you to weeks to express his thanks. Uh, cool. And a piece of the meteor, hey! Collect another piece of the meteor. Uh, keep it, try to find, what's his face? Got a medical bag, a petrification bolt. Oh man, I'm glad I talked to that guy. That might be our father. I'm pretty sure Warren. The way we're playing Warren and the Undertaker are like complete opposites. So I feel like they would just try to kill each other if they found each other. Loud bang. So two could use aim and defense. That was dumb bomb movement and aim. Aim and defense. Do aim and defense. The petrification bolt deals minor damage. Oh, it's like a. There's <laughs> a little, little attack. It's a weapon. Yeah, we need a backup weapon. Simulate increased movement at the cost. Of, yeah, you probably don't need that. We need a backup weapon. Little quick shot deal. All right, close. Good start selling that stuff. We don't really need the money right now. Well, we do need money. Like we don't have money, but we don't need money either. It's a fate trader. I mean, came across a puny dwarf with a battered cart. Flash to a smile. You encourage you to take a look at his wares. Does he have a meteor piece? Uh, a relic is a relic. We don't need a relic. Yes, snake leather boots. Though we can give that to one plus one damage. Yes, please. Plus fifteen aim though is really good too. I'm thinking we take the plus one damage though. We can sell like we don't need extra stimulants. We don't need a this extra shotgun laying around. I have these shotguns. I want to keep the let's keep the musket for the new guy, the animal musket. Let's keep that for the new guy when he shows up. Do you not have any cash? This dude doesn't have any cash. A shotgun revolver. Hold up. Excuse me. Basic one of a kind state art revolving shotgun. Oh, that sounds awesome. I kind of want that too. All right, and then you can have my stun bomb, I guess. And then we'll just give you ten dollars. So actually, this didn't didn't work out like exactly I wanted it to, but I want the shotgun revolver because awesome. It's a shotgun revolver. Give that to our newest member when he shows up. Cougar trails. Shaveo track the cougar. The powerful native mystic Pizaka. Shaveo track it. Shaveo found the trail. A couple hours later, he found the cougar. It looked ordinary except for an unusual pattern on his face and necklace. This is not a cougar. God. Shaveo, you messed up. <laughs> this is Shaveo. As you to find the cougar, you found a bear. Well, Shaveo talked to it. He slowly approached the cougar, chanting a song in their language. It was tense. He expected Shaveo to be ripped apart any second. Slowly but surely, Shaveo approached and held his hand out to the cougar. Really the stone without objective. I feel like it would have, we should have shot it. That's more of our thing, but whatever. We got our piece of the meteor. Keep it, and now we have all the pieces. Get all the pieces you wanted. When you returned to the main road, a messenger had a new letter, letter from the wizard. Man wasn't happy with your stunt at the brothel, but he provided the location of persons as per your agreement. It was a trap, but it wasn't the first you were willingly walking into. Let's go walk into this trap and get our friend. 
Uh, continue searching for meteor pieces to absorb. Optional. There's more meteor pieces. Alright, so look out hill to extract Henry Pearson. Is there anywhere else we can go? Possibly get a meteor piece, we should. But I don't really see anywhere. Is it Orchard House? Anything down here? See if there's any meteor pieces around. Look everywhere else. And then we go to uh, the trap. Executive's Ranch. Uh, asked if they knew anything about a meteor piece. When he made your unusual demand, Hua Ackerman, the merchant, looked agitated. He considered the rock a lucky charm. He was unwilling to give it up. If he did, he would charge you more than the rest of the goods to make up for his loss. Ah, offered to share his business contacts. So you keep prices low. Hard and Randy, okay. Offer to keep. You consider the offer to take an opportunity to barter for the old prices one last time. Oh, Harden, do your job. The merchant agreed, handing you the meteor and wish you a good job, Harden. Glad we glad we kept you along. Warren is now swift. And that was the last piece. We got one extra buff off of it. The swift plus five movement. Eh, whatever. That was pretty effortless, so it's worth it. The old fort offered strong defensive positions, whoever managed to get up there first. Knowing you'd come for persons, the wizard had set up an ambush with his best men. He had deduced his scheme, however. Now you just have to decide if you want to attack now or let them stew a while. Attack. We have no preparations to make. We're already, we're already set. Let's do this. Your old persons would be here. No one specified if he'd be alive. Even the wizard's best men couldn't stop you. Well, hold on, we haven't fought yet. Stealing the opium stash would add insult to injury. So, steal the opium for funsies? I feel... There's a lot of dudes here. Okay, how are we going to handle this? This is Warren. Hop open the, uh... Hop the cover. To full cover, take that shot. Somebody can get over here in this house. Warren's pretty fast. He does have swiftness, doesn't he? What else can everyone do? We should look at the slower members. Alright, I think what we're going to do... Shaveo, because you're kind of back here in the corner. You move here. Pop open the steel. So you're in full cover. Can't kill the clerk. You know, I have five damage on that. Shaveo, we should have gave you the handheld muscle, because I really like this this uh scope shot. It's super useful. Uh, and that means we have to com like commit two people to kill him. To kill him this dude over here. But Warren, go ahead and get through here. I'm gonna see if you can make this shot. And also you're gonna steal the drugs. Oh, there's the oh, oh, there's oh, oh crumb. There are dudes around. Equaliza dodge equalization? No, because they're going to come around the corner and shoot him. Oh, I should have done that. Ugh, I forgot we had dodge equaliz equalization. I actually kind of in trouble back here because of this guy. Can't get back here. Well, I'll take the half cover. We'll just have to deal with it in a second. Oh, they can flank you. Ah, oh, it's a bad start. We're in bad positions. Shoot him. Hit him, Shaveo. Good job. And you need to finish him off, please. There, at least one's down. We can get around this left side a little easier. I feel like that was a... We're kind of in a rough spot this turn. Alright, they've missed Shaveo a few times. Oh, he's taking lots of shots. Taking lots of heat. He only took one damage, so he's in, he's in full cover. He is dead. Don't know what he's thinking. He... Oh, oh he's super dead. He's going, he's going to get a musket to the face. Oh, I'll just do that right now. Just end this man's life. 55%, that's kind of garbage. What about fanning? You can just fan him. It's dead. It's him twice, fifty percent, or once at once at what? Fifty-five. Every shot cripples. Let's just kill. Let's try that. Five. We'll roll with one fifty-five, so the two fifties. Because every shot crippled, I really should consider just uh doing the crippling shot. If you get here, 
You can fan. You don't need to fan, though. Shield reaction shot? We move there. That's unfortunate. Randy. Randy, can you not fan with this weapon? Does this weapon really not have fanning? The volcano pistol does not have fanning. Did not realize that. <sighs> okay. Alright. I guess it means ugh. Ugh. Okay, you take the shot. Dude's not in cover. He's in for full damage. I can't believe we missed that shot. That's gonna be problematic. Try to finish him off, please. Okay, good. You need to take a scope shot of this lady. I should kill her. Or her, or whatever you want to shoot at. Unless you get killed first. Stop getting shot, Javeo. Chevy's taking a lot of heat. Maybe he should have won a bulletproof vest. He always seems to get shot a lot. I could think I'm in this half cover box of fruit or whatever. And now I bet you, bet you he's in full cover and he's in full cover. Yeah, now he's in cover. That oh, that was I didn't realize before I clicked. I thought we wouldn't. I thought we wouldn't be in. Uh, I thought we wouldn't be there for that. Dodge equalization. Go for it? Let's go for the dodge equalization. Because we just got shot, so we might as well bring down everyone's health. Not enough action points, that takes two. That's fine, actually. Now you just reload, because you're going to kill him with equalization soon anyway, it's fine. And then we can heal up? Yeah. Then everyone can just heal. Ooh, but we have to hide. <sighs> this chance of just our support characters getting murdered. We have to do that first, and that has to be the first thing we do in that turn. Then the other characters heal. Take a scope shot. Actually, you can save that for after we equalize. So, what's courage do? Oh, bonuses on site activation. Go for it. <laughs> what bonuses did we get for that? Yeah, can I see? Courage, extra aim, and extra damage for a turn. That's pretty cool. We're not still not gonna be using that. Unless it buffed up the sniper aim shot damage, not enough to do anything actually useful. I guess just reload and take a take a random shot. It doesn't really matter if we're just going to equalize. You move up here. Ready to equalize. You have the golden bullet. How much luck does that require? 50 luck. Actually, I mean, you can just shoot her with that and just take her out. It's pretty nice. She's, she's giving us some trouble. <laughs> Blow her away. A bullet thrower. That doesn't sound. I mean, you should be shooting bullets, not throwing them. I think, I think you're fine. Just end your turn, actually. Mr. Chevelle, or you move over here. No, stay right here. Here for some scope shots. After we make everyone one health and heal and then just destroy everyone. Or you get killed. <laughs> I hope you don't get killed. Mr. Chevelle. This guy is such a pain. I'm really not a fan of this dude right here. Although we can move up next to him because he can't reaction shot. So this requires both action points. Dong dong. Health set to one. On everyone. Does that include our, our... That does include the... Captive. Increase your HP. So you don't get, like, insta-killed. And then 20% to kill. 35% kill, to kill. But then you can't do an aim shot next turn, so... Uh, yeah, 20% is all I got. Drain his luck at least. What do you have? A 35% to kill. Isn't there a guy... Isn't there a guy in here somewhere? Oh, you can heal yourself. Increase max HP. Fill taste movement, increase HP and luck. 
Or you can transfusion. No, you can't, because they're all <laughs> they're all 102. Bottle liquor only does one HP? Oh, I was expecting a little bit better. You gotta take some opium as well. There you go. Oh, there you go. Much better. Much better. Randy. And now you, now you won't die. It's kind of a big deal. Not not dying. So four health and twelve twelve HP. Now you can have him do some crazy stuff. Shoot him as much as you want to. We need to steal this opium. I have to figure out where these guys are. We only have two HP. I would like you to be in the shadows. All right, Randy. You actually lost HP just because you lost some of your max HP bonus. Any bad guys in here? Yeah, there's that guy right there. Okay, so that is someone for Warren to take care of. Go, go here. Shoot, this dude should be an easy shot. Right, he's right in front of you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you missed him. You missed, you missed the dude. You take your scope shot. Just 100% on these guys. Gun toting bozo or the bullet thrower? Take out the gun toting bozo. Equalization plus all these sniper shots seems pretty good. This seems pretty terrible that he actually missed that shot. Pray? Does that guy might shoot you soon? I don't know if he can move without getting like overwatch. Oh, that's the thing that's gonna happen. Not sure what prayer bonus he actually got. Chaveo! Ah, don't die, please! He's got a flanking shot on Randy, that's, that's frustrating. But Randy should be able to kill this dude without getting flanked. Or without uh, him seeing him reacting. Yeah, you're adjacent. You just pop it in the back of his head. There, he's dead. See? Not hard. You recovered a supply of opium. Get his drugs. Then you do not do the same mistake you did. Where that you, you don't do that. Forty percent. Can you fan him? Twenty percent. Can, can you bomb him? I I need him to die. That will also trigger. Oh my gosh, this guy is such a pain. Treveo, can you? Also, you're kind of like in danger of actually just straight up dying. This lady up here. You have zero percent chance to hit her. You need to move out of sight, probably. Get in this corner. Is there a window there? There's no window there. If you get there, you'll be okay for a turn. Turn or two. So I guess I'm safe, so Shveo is safe. We here, however, are super not safe because this guy. If we get. Oh, that counts because we can't get like, through the window. I hate this dude. Really, really don't like this dude. One at forty or three at twenty. Let's go for three at twenty. Do fanning. I don't think statistically. Yeah, it worked out. Okay, I, was gonna say, I don't think. Don't know statistically that's a better choice. But fanning commonly uh, works out for us. So that guy is finally done. Chevelle, just reload. And then he's really hurting. He has no healing. So I'm kind of afraid to have him do anything. Did he sell prayer? You know, you don't have prayer, you have chain kill. You would need to. No matter what, you'd be in a position where you're vulnerable. Because I would need to have him be able to chain kill. To heal. There should be no one over here if we just sprint in here to get this opium. Warren. I'm pretty confident there's no one over here. Alright. I was correct. I'm so startled. I don't want you to be able to get murdered. Let's put him somewhere weird. He has no healing anymore. Other than chain kill. So he misses his chain kill. I have to put him in in harm's way for a turn too. two. Harm, do you have any shots from there? You do not. Just reload. You do have a golden bullet shot. That'll just kill. That'll just get a kill. On that bullet thrower, it's been... Yeah. There. No more trouble from her. And you have another, you can just do that next time it's up. 
Mark Chevelle and put you in a potentially hazardous spot. Mm. Alright, you seem to be fine. Another crate recovered. That would fetch a pretty. Oh, we get to sell it for, for money? And there's only two of them? Seems fine by me. Going up here. Should reload this uh, Navy gun. You three more turns for your golden bolt to to rearm. I guess everyone just lock and load. And end the turn. Is it just this one guy left? Oh, no, we found a friend. 100% though, so. Uh, bye. Anyone up here, Chevy? Nope. And you don't see anyone there. Next turn, you get to. Golden Bullet. Yellow weapon's fully loaded. Don't blow that guy. Miguel El Hermoso Ocha. That's like the special dude. He's dead, because gold bullet's awesome, uh, equalization's awesome. We have really good abilities. That's what's going on. Are you dead? Oh, I thought you were like hanging for a second. I was a little concerned. Alright, Warren. Nothing. I'll we'll take this nice and slow. No need to rush in there. You got some cover through these windows, you're fine. Warren, Warren can insult the building all by himself, I guess, I suppose. Is there a door over here? There's the one on this side. I can just run right up here and see, what, see what's up. See what's up! No one up here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, no one up there yet. Shvea, how about you get over here and open that? That full cover. Or half cover, that's only half cover, isn't it? It's still open cover, it's fine. And you can sit back there without any luck and kind of just be a decoration. Alright, get upstairs, Lauren. Persons, thank you politely for the rescue. You're welcome, persons. He was rather You're real messed up. But there was no one left to kill. Oh, ha. Sorry, persons. I promise to ride through as long as you can have some payback. I don't know why... I mean... I don't know why I have to, like, continue the mission to actually physically move up to rescue him if everyone's dead. If everyone's dead, you should just end the mission. I shouldn't have to actually go rescue him. It was time to bring Florence back, which... Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we have the posse now. When the dust settled off the battle, he was there. The stranger who had halted your death. The man who told you to kill and burn. You knew now, from the cold feeling of your bones, who he must be. He applauded your efforts of bringing together this posse and said you had only one more task ahead of you before you could invade Purgatory. Confront the wizard and force him to reveal how to get there. He said that first he had a question for him. With a wry, with a wry grin, he replied, shoot. He said he had a good reason to invade Purgatory. True love. He stored at this. But, you continued, you couldn't figure his angle for the life of you. And he knew he always had an angle. It was simple, he replied. He said the natural order of things was the most vicious crime ever perpetuated on mankind. To men to slaves who crawled from cradle to grave in servitude. Their pathetic existence is hardly qualifying his life at all. Chaos, on the other hand, re revealed mankind's full potential. Where there were madmen, there were geniuses. Where there were the most depraved villains, the greatest heroes rose. To upset the status quo was mankind's highest calling, and there was no greater bastion of the status quo than purgatory. He had been grooming you as his champion all this time, he said. And now the end was in, was in sight, once you forced the wizard... Oh, we got some cool stuff. Uh, once you force the wizard to show you the way to Purgatory, you'd end mankind's servitude forever as a final test. That seems kind of extreme, but okay. Henry Persons, world map, weirdness. Let's see what we got before we, before we end it. Oh no, game please. Alright, we got sub one armed bandit. We also have a shotgun revolver. Restores luck over time. Harmo we also found a harmonica gun. I don't think we've ever actually used the harmonica gun. That's 10 damage. Some opium. To kill one must prepare to be killed. This gun trades defense for damage. 18 aim. Let's get 12 damage? 12, this is 12 damage, right? Am I misreading that? 12 damage. 
That is the most ridiculous that it has bonus aim. Oh my gosh, we give there. Warn, kill everyone forever now. Uh, opium. I have tons of opium. And opium, we found out, gives you a lot of health, so yay, opium. Oh, we never gave you the boots. I don't know if you need the boots now. Eh, with your sniper, sure, why not? And then you. Let's get a gun, have some opium. We have so much opium. Everyone gets all the opium. Except apparently you're already equipped. You have an 18 shooter. Clad a ridiculous little weapon. And a chain revolver. So you are weird. You have weird weapons. Chain of bullets. Unmatched capacity. Two shots per turn. Unless aim doesn't have good damage. Despite two shots per turn. We have our Monica gun and the musket. We also have our shotgun revolver and our... Um, what's it called? One-armed bandit? Alright. Five. Oh, you have really low health, though. So you're not really a, going to be a shotgun guy, are you? What's your aim? Your aim's not very good. Yeah. You just kind of suck. Persons, to be honest, you have low health, low defense, low aim. Uh, decent luck, though. Maybe should have given you some cards. This is a short range weapon. Regardless, you're never going to anything with chain revolver. Minus 15 aim, you're going to have trash aim. There's only three damage. Yeah, forget that. Uh, just have a high capacity revolver. I feel like we should give you something else. Maybe just shotgun revolver. Or the one arm bandit and you just give the revolver for like... Or how about this? Because you're kind of trash. Actually, no, minus one max HP, ouch. Here's what we're going to do. We should be able to get shot all the time. Alright, we're going to like mix up everyone's stuff. Randy. Volcano pistol. Oh, we replace that for shotgun revolver. No, because then it range, it's garbage, and musket. Requires less reloading for it. As much damage as the musket does, you honestly can't use it that much because that much requires reload, like the reload time you have to invest. Harmonica gun? Or you could take the chain revolver, possibly. 16. Is that something we want Warren to have? Two shots per turn. The aim's not such a big deal. Let's try it. Let's try to give you chain revolver. Okay. You get to have Chaveo, Parsons. Now yeah, we have the shotgun revolver. It'd be our, our closer range guy. And she also have a fanning weapon in that case. You get to be our new sniper. And Chaveo, you can have the one-armed bandit as well. And Talisman, who needs to snake load boots now? Is it Randy? A person that person's good. Oh, minus one HP. He can't be at four HP. That's way too. Long. Warren definitely doesn't need it. Almost certainly doesn't need it. Unless he misses with chain revolver. But he has a bloody shirt. Not being crippled is pretty important. Uh, you can take it for your, your old pepper box. You know, you need pepper, minus five aim. You can do it better than pepper box and do like the volcano pistol or the harmonica gun. Even. Oh, he can't fan the harmonica gun. Why the one arm bandit or the musket? Might as well just have the musket. We'll just not use the one arm bandit that we bought, I suppose. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. We don't need the one arm bandit. Pepper box, how about the volcano pistol? You can't fan, but if you're in close range, you can try to musket somebody. But then if you're close range, then why not just one arm bandit? Alright, that's why I get the one-arm bandit. I'll try that instead. And if you can't fan either way, then just the higher damage on Monica gun. But you can't fan with the pepper box, just that aim penalty I don't deal with. You're now max C, well, like, huge heat levels, but it doesn't matter, we're not doing any of this stealth nonsense. Oh, now cards! <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the cards yet. Uh, beast hearing. Sense nearby enemies, ignore my enemies in setup stage. Plus four sight, and you're buying these panics, pretty cool. Got an extra nine clubs. Nearby enemies panic. You have currently Jax as your card. Don't have any more, didn't get any more Jax, got a queen and two kings. Nearby enemies panic. Who would I want to have nearby enemies panic? 
sense near my enemies is great too. I will give both of these two persons, because he's real fragile. So having him be able to sense nearby enemies to force them to panic could help him not be murdered horribly. And now I have a Nine of Clubs and a Queen of Hearts. Anybody need a Nine of Clubs or a Queen of Hearts? You could have a two pair. Because he's a lot extra defense. And Queen of Hearts. And that'll give you also a two pair, wouldn't it? There you go. You should get some extra defense. It's fine, you have the extra luck, it's fine. You have enough defense for your own abilities, and alright, everything's fine. Person's still a little bit weak, but that's fine. And now, uh, go to the wizard! I'll be next time, find out with a Grim Boatman. So I guess only a couple more missions before it's like main storyline's over, possibly. Unless something weird happens, but that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, leave a like, share the video, subscribe for more fun, like, Twitch, share, like, this video, and I'll see you next time.